Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Bale and welcome to the channel. Um, what you're looking at is two circuits. This delta circuit, just triangle right here, is not hooked up to any power supply it's just hooked right back into itself um in between each coil i have a bridge rectifier and a capacitor let me go over here i got a bridge rectifier and a capacitor and we got diode direction we're trying to make this go a certain way so and then this one's only got a I don't have a another bridge rectifier so I, I, I don't want to make one right now so uh, we just put a capacitor in between these two and it's just a you know it's cycled you know it goes like for every time a magnet passes, you get a little bit of juice. And I'm going to hook the multimeter up to that circuit just to see what we're talking about. Huh. wonder what happened. We definitely have a crossed wire somewhere. God, trying to find out where that is, it's going to be... I don't know, we're going to have to figure this out though, so I'll, I'm going to look at that. I'll be right back. Alright, I think I sorted it out. Let's see, I'm going to turn it on. See, look at that, you know, problem solving skills. Bam. All right, so, well, the one drive is spinning it, making it go fast. Each one of these coils is generating AC, which is then passed through the bridge rectifier, which is then passed into the next coil. See how that works? And it happens simultaneously, so it's happening like See, like that is going on much faster. All right, that sounds like it's about to fall apart. <laughs> but getting up to speed and getting there, you know, quicker would be a benefit if I'm seeing any at all. And it's not perfectly silent anymore. It's uh, got a hum to it. Maybe a little like a snap. I, I can hear the reed switch. It's not that. It's something else. And there's something knocking. I'm not quite sure what that is either. Awesome. Sorry about my finger there. So... Typically this would go for about 20 seconds after I turned it off. With the capacitors hooked up, we're going to see if we get any more time than that. Oh yeah, and we gotta hook the multimeter up. I'm gonna do that in just in just a second. That is spectacular motion, man. That is great. All right, power's off.
So the it looks like it's putting a load. I think they are 25 volt capacitors or 50 volt. So we're not going to get much motion out of them. All right, now let's hook up the multimeter. I'll be right back. All right, so we got the multimeter hooked up. I haven't run it yet, but I've seen that it will give a reading. This is a DC voltage reading. AC voltage reading. So something tells me that I got them hooked up in the wrong spot. Maybe not. So I'm not going to stress over that right now. I think this is a pretty good test of what I'm trying to do. Uh, and I think it's only going to be like super duper effective while it's running. It's not going to be something like a battery that will make it run without power or anything like that. It's just, it soups it up a little bit. It's kind of like nitrous. I mean, the basic philosophy behind it is, is that each one of these coils is going to generate some AC energy when the magnet passes it. Okay? And then, because of the diodes, it's going to send that energy to the next coil. But it's, it's going to pass through a bridge rectifier, which will change it to DC. So it'll be like the power supply inputting into the next coil. So it'll be DC energy going into the next coil and AC coming out of that coil. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Then the AC again will be converted into DC. And as soon as it gets converted into DC, it's stored in a capacitor. But it's not, it's not a big capacitor. And then again, the diodes for direction. It's a bridge rectifier, capacitor, diode. So uh, I'm, I got another bridge rectifier coming in the mail. I'm gonna hook it up on this side. That should complete that. Um, you know, aspect of what I'm trying to do. Because this, the one that dumps from here back to the start, there's no bridge rectifier, it's just AC, and that's, that's not right. Not even for scientific purposes, man. It's definitely not right. So this should be here soon. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. One more run. We're going to give it one more run. I just love watching this thing move. I think it goes a different direction every time I turn it on. Yeah, that's whipping. It's continuing to go faster and faster. Uh-oh. 
That really sounds like the magnets are about to fly off. I need to glue those down. I don't want to glue them down though. I want them to be able to take them off if I want to. So that, that right there, that choice limits what I can do. You, you heard that, that it's definitely coming off. So you can tell that the capacitors are on there a little bit. It, it goes faster, longer. But as soon as it, the capacitors wear on, it's like to zero in less than six seconds. And that's because there's virtually a core in every single slot except that one and that one. Now another thing that I was thinking of is that I can make another one of these circuits, these uh, circuits that are connected to themselves in say here, here, and where the read switch is now. Or we go here, here, and here. We'll do that one first because we don't got to move anything. Yeah, and then we can do a fourth one. Mm. What fun. Uh, but right now we're just at, we're at one of each. So we got the one that's hooked to the power supply and then we got the one that's hooked to itself. I'm I'm almost guaranteeing that when the one when the power's on, we're getting some motion, some improved acceleration from the other circuit. Cause I I fiddled with it; it's set up right. Everything's going in the right direction, so it speeds up faster and it goes faster altogether. Roger, Roger, Roger. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, that, that didn't take 15 seconds to get to the point where the magnets are about to come off. That's... It took a lot less time than that, actually. And we got this one, like, kind of out of the way coil over here that doesn't generate much. That's another thing slowing everything down. So we need a bridge rectifier and a larger coil. Maybe even one with a core in it. Now that one over there is doesn't have a core but it's it's big so I don't know it's working pretty well. But if I could get two with cores, that'd be great. I might buy some core tonight. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Get three, two more with cores, baby. All right, thank you very much. Please subscribe, have a great night. See you on a flip.